So through 2023, there was a bunch of FPSs or just shooters in general that was out, not dead. Some of them came and went in that year, like lived and died in that year. I'm gonna put them all in tiers, gonna see where everything end up. I got four tiers, I think. I can't count. I got five. S, A, B, C, and could have been records slash I haven't played them at all or enough to really give them a rating. And in no order at all, we're just going to start with CS2. CS is older shit, but CS2 just really took over. CS, like the application is the same one. It really just updates. But I played it once. So to say that it's anywhere from S to C, I don't know. We're just going to fill up the haven't played right now. Actually, we're going to put CS2 in there. I haven't played Ready or Not. That's pretty recent. Siege, which has been around for a while, but still relevant and battle bit i just haven't played but moving on we're game that i've actually played is destiny 2 the only game to still get off the paid dlcs or they they've been giving out some for free they gave out like three of them for, for free like uh two months ago they gave out a couple before that and the game used to be 60 dollars like base game and then that went free to play too but yeah, you gotta grind like shit to play this game so if you don't like constantly being on the same game it's just this one is not for you like at all but i'm gonna give it b tier just because of all the money you gotta spend to keep up on this shit like the ones they gave out for free they're not the most recent ones so you still gotta like pay if you want to have everything available to you next we got is fortnite uh, i'm gonna put this in s tier because i mean what are they not doing at this point they've done every collab they have the creative mode there's a million different modes you can play is not just limited to the BR and the save the world like it once was. I mean, yeah, like I don't even play it that much, but it's still S tier. PUBG, it's like the ancient battle royale in here. The fact that it's still going is, I I gotta give it something for at least that. Most games don't make it this far. Like I still see ads about it to this day. That's the only reason I re even remember to put it on this list. But I mean, I've played it. It was against the other battle royales. I don't think it's as fun. I think it it's cool. Like it definitely was cool like for the time when it came out and like their mobile version is even pretty good, but I'll just give it B. I'm not going to give it C because like the longevity got to speak for something. So I'll give it the B tier. Modern Warfare 3. Uh, they color, they took Modern Warfare 2. They colored it red, made a couple tweaks in the mechanics, and that, that was pretty much it. Uh, it's C tier. There's nothing, there's not enough new about this game to warrant $70. So they're crazy for doing that, but people are equally as crazy for buying it. C tier, like nothing, nothing over C tier for this game. Cause it is a fun game, but Modern Warfare 2 is like, it's so close to the same thing. It's ridiculous. Uh, next is Apex. I don't play as much as I used to, but I mean, it has survived since 2019. A lot of the games died in that time. This game's biggest issue is just being stale as fuck. Like three strikes is the only notable thing to happen in 2023. They're about to have a final fantasy event they just dropped the trailer like a couple hours before i recorded this you're gonna be able to use the buster sword which is like that's cool like that's actually something like notable <laughs> being in the game but in my opinion that game is not gonna see another height unless they just stop focusing on br as much and just have like a separate side of the game that isn't br i would still i would still have it but like essentially take pilots just the pilots put it in apex and expand on it but it still has better mechanics and vast majority issues maybe better than all of them depending on who you ask I think it still does. It's just got stale to me. So I'll, I'll give it B tier. Valorant will have a decent amount of hours in it. It's just like, this is really not the kind of shooter I would play that often. So it's kind of hard for me to rate it. I know one thing though, they got better skins than anybody. I was eating off the floor constantly for a skin. I ain't buying nothing. I don't, I don't play enough for that. And the skin's expensive as fuck, but they have added a lot of modes over time. So I'll give it the A tier. If, if you think different, tell me why. Cause I'm half guessing with this one, but I definitely played it a lot more than anything I put in the bottom tier, so I can at least try. All right, now we'll do the finals. Play a video game. You've probably heard of this one way or another. Uh, I think it's S tier also, not because it's doing everything in the world like Fortnite, but because it is a refreshing game, even after I played it for like a hundred something hours. Now they don't inject any variety as far as like the modes go into this game. It'll, it'll follow the S tier pretty quick, but but right now that's where it's at it's pulling things from other games like the whole destruction like that when i thought of destructible environment in the multiplayer game that would usually be battlefield and finally just takes it to like a whole nother level you can level buildings entirely and a lot of them the vast majority and there's really only a couple per map that you can't just because it's like holding something up that's like part of the map that you're supposed to be able to get to all the time with the cash outs and stuff i just realized i forgot to put battlefield on here but you probably didn't even realize that halo is a situation of too little too late they added the forge mode yeah that was after like a long ass time like a lot of people gave up on that game by the time they added that shit in so for those reasons of just taking too long to you know give it any life i'm putting it in c tier then we got warzone 2 which i really should have put right next to cod i'm gonna give it b tier because it's still or actually i might even give it a c it to me it's a lot worse than the first warzone 
The only advantage it has is proximity chat. In every other way, it's worse. Like, it's just more sluggish of a game, which is weird. And I don't know if I did all the could have been regular games yet, but Hyenas and Veiled Experts. I mean, Veiled Experts had a beta in 2022, and they had like Shroud and his Timmy play it, and then they didn't do anything until like mid-2023. Like a partner program I was in, and then they game dropped after open beta and it just fell off like a few weeks after that it, it wasn't pretty but hyenas this game didn't even make it out the beta I had one beta and then after that maybe like two weeks after they're like oh we're shutting down so yeah i don't know how real company on here but that's also because of records it's not you can still play it it's not like hyenas unveiled in that way but it's not and nothing that it, it nothing that it could have been really even when it was like kind of popular i was playing it I'm like it got stale super fast for me and a lot of people and i got a couple of ones that aren't out yet they could drop this year but i mean games get delayed all the time so i can't even really tell you that definitively division heartland they had one or two betas i don't know which, if it was two or not but i was definitely in one of them and i played a good amount it did get repetitive towards the end but i was grinding it like relentlessly so hardly did that to myself i think it could be an eighth year game it just fully depends on how much variety they can inject into that game but i still like the division so i'm gonna play it. it's gonna be free to play so i'm definitely gonna play it when it drops and then there's marathon this is like a blind ass prediction i mean a bungee extraction shooter sounds cool and that's literally all the information we have of it besides the the trailer we saw a character holding a gun that, that was literally it so yeah the idea of it sounds cool the idea of it sounds like an A tier game. Will it be that? Who, who knows? Who knows when we get even a, a a snippet of anything of like a release date or something? And X Defiant, a lot of people saying Dead on Arrival. Now, if the game had dropped when it was initially gonna drop, I think it would've been fine. I don't. If it doesn't drop like early this year, like at least first half this year, I it, it really could just de be Dead on Arrival. But the whole reasoning of people saying it's gonna die, like it can't kill COD, I'm like, that sounds so stupid because games can coexist. You know how long CS has been around and Valorant came around in like, what, 2020? And all the, all the Valorant is, is CS with abilities and a different art style. That is exactly the same thing as going from COD to X to find. Different art style with abilities. But the game gotta drop. Like it just, like it needs to drop at some point. Did I get everything? Oh, first to send it. Um, I think it'll be a B tier game. It's a third person looter shooter. It wasn't like the best thing ever. It's just good. Like I don't have like anything super stand out to say about it, which is why I can't get any higher than B, but it was published by Nexon. Nexon also published the finals and Veiled Experts. So like, you know, the top of the Steam wishlist versus just dead on the rival game. Versus and it can fall anywhere in there, literally. But my guess is B tier. Is that they had a couple betas. It's fun. Like it's just like kind of a mindless brain off game you can play which is really the reason i liked it the, uh, there was another third person shooter i tried called synced that woman is just boring as fuck i think the shooting in first ascendant is a lot better than it was in the sync and some of the character designs are cool but i mean i don't it doesn't have anything like super stand out to like so if it were to die i wouldn't be super surprised but if it were to just live with its own big enough community that would also not surprise me. but let me know what you think the games i haven't played where you think they would go like ready or not i just seen people play it and I, i'm not gonna tell you i ever would i haven't bought a shooting game in a long ass time i probably won't since the finals is out and that's like right now it's like kind of the standout among everything that's out ready or not just came out too but finals overshadowing it just because it is more of a flashy game so it makes sense but if they don't make like a good amount of changes over time some right now but some over time to like you know get some variety in there it, it could get stale at some point but i made a list of things that i think they should add things right now things that i want and things they need to add over time like i said that video's on the screen right now go ahead and click that bye